Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. And in this video, we're going to be painting one of our giant bats. <laughs> right, primed grey, washed with Agrax Earthshade. We're now ready to apply paint. So, we're using this brush again. And this time we're just doing a very light, very light dry brush with Kizla Flesh. Start us off. I'm trying to shy away from the typical vampire, um, what do we call it, look with some of these, as you may have noticed. Um, because I can, no other reason. Um, yeah, I just feel like a change from, you know, if I was going to paint, if I was going to doing the traditional vampire roots I'd I'd do all blacks and purples and reds and stuff like that and get boring after a while so I want them to stand out on the table as well hence the reason I'm doing these different colors so I'll get all the um, body done with this color your Kizla flesh. Now we are doing an extra step that we haven't done with the others and that's giving it an, another wash after we finished applying the paint. Um, and that's just to darken it down somewhat. Um, so after this layer of um, whatchamacallit of wash, uh, not wash, of dry brushing we're going to be having another layer of dry brushing and then we'll apply the wash um, you know what, I still haven't looked at which uh, at the name of the other um, minis that we have to paint um, I'll, show you pic I'll show you one of them in a second and what I've done which is ready for painting for the next video um, I've not painted the others as yet, so I'm going to do this first of all, paint the others, just to see how it goes. And then, if I'm happy with the effect, I'll continue painting all of the, um, all of the minis in that particular style, and then I'll paint this one. If not, I'll have a jiggy about. So how I usually do it. So far, the way I've worked it, I've been quite happy with the effects I've had. So I've not really needed to do anything drastic. Um, occasionally I've had to change colours because they've been a little darker than what I've expected and not shown up above the initial wash. But that's just one of those things you have to put up with when you're painting minis. It's trial and error sometimes. And as you may have noticed from some of the videos, I don't actually plan on what colours I'm going to use. I'm hoping that's come across anyway. Um, <clears throat> I just seem to look at a model and think, yeah, I'd like, I think I like that colour for this and that colour for that. And I don't really go into it with any pre preformed ideas or any plan of attack with them. I just have a look at the paint as and when I need them um, and what you see is actually genuine that's how I do work I don't as I say I don't plan it I don't have um, a plan of what colors I want I genuinely just play by you um, if one color I don't like the as it goes on I change it <coughs> I uh, I have a I've got a blank a blank canvas, and I actually like to apply the paint as I go, rather than say right right I'm going to do this this way this the other way, and this the other way. Now the only difference to that is going to be one of these um, minis from Vampire Hunters because Ali's picked the colours that she wants them. I'm now going to do a screaming skull. Um, 
highlights with these again dry brush but not a very strong dry brush we're just trying to imply light hitting from above um, and that's that bit and I will give this a time to dry in a second just not too long because um, you don't really need it to be honest it's not um, it's not going to take long to dry um, and we'll have a look at the mini we're going to be doing in the next video as I said I haven't actually um, got around to uh, painting the others yet so I've got an idea this time of what I'd like to do this is what we have um, so far he's just been washed with null oil I think I'm going to give these another wash with null oil first before I do anything else and then I'm going to start painting because it doesn't look as though it's dried it's gone dark enough for what I wanted um, I cannot for the life remember what these guys are called um, but uh, in the unboxing videos I think I mentioned that also though the road they've just got out the bath and they're hugging the towel around them <laughs> I know it's wings that they're wrapping around themselves but that's how it looked to me um, but yeah I'm going to pop them I'm going to pop that to one side and give it another wash of um, null oil before I get on with um, painting it but and it's going to be another very quick and quick and dirty paint job uh, but now uh, as I say we're going to give it another wash with Agrax Earthshade and that will dull all the bright colours down I don't want it too bright I don't want it dark but I don't want it too bright um, so hopefully this will dull it down enough just to take that brightness away um, especially under the wings here so we just give this a going over with the wash all over not so much having a wash he's having a bath <laughs> And we say cover it completely. Don't want to miss anywhere, so make sure you get every little piece of this mini. But don't don't apply it too strongly though. Um, if you see any build up of um, wash, then try and cut it down we don't want it building up too much and creating not so much problems for ourselves but undoing the work that we've already done to it um, so make sure you've got everywhere and that is the giant bats done that's all we're doing with those we just need to wait until these dry or these dry and then I can pat them away um, I won't be taking photographs of these when I finish and I'll do a bit of a video uh, photo gallery of them um, but yeah that's it hope you've enjoyed this video until next time as always take care God bless and bye for now